All right, so now that we've used uh, something like the statistics module, now it'd be a pretty good time to talk about uh, the syntax for importing modules and all of the kind of tricks that we can do with importing modules because if you're not familiar, you might see some example code and you might not understand how they're doing something or how they're able to reference a module or a function within a module without actually saying the module and all this stuff. So I'm gonna show you guys some of the uh, various ways that you can import a module um, to do exactly how, what you want, I guess. Um, so with that, uh, let's go ahead and get started. So we're gonna go ahead and I guess we can get rid of this. And so you've seen for now import statistics. And so the idea here is we import statistics and then we can use this module. Now a module is just an, a Python script for the most part. Some modules are a little more uh, in depth, but this is a Python script. And so I can even show you guys this. Um, we can go to you know your computer, C, uh, Python 3.4, lib and within lib is where you're going to find all of your um, kind of like vanilla modules the ones that come with python and then all your third-party modules genu generally are going to be installed under site packages so these are all your third-party modules now statistics comes with it so we can actually just find stat statistics whoops statistics and we can find say for example the mean uh, module we can search uh, let me bring it down here search for like define mean like that and here is our mean function. So this is the block of code that is run when we reference mean. Okay, so that's all it is. It's just a Python script. Okay, so we'll get out of here, minimize this, and now uh, we can go over uh, some things. So statistics, while not super long, it's kind of a long name. We might maybe we don't want to type out statistics every single time. It's kind of a tedious thing to type out. So when you do this, you can say import statistics as s. And now every time you want to reference statistics, you just have to type s. So instead of statistics.variance, you could do s.variance. We could run that. Uh, we didn't have it uh, printing out. So let's go ahead and print x. And now you get your variance of 4.85. Okay. So uh, we're able to reference it just with a simple s. Now the other thing that you can do as well is say you don't even want to type s you just uh, want to say variance well you can do that as well um, and that's going to be uh, from stati statistics this is why we want to do it as s it's a pain to type so from statistics import variance and now you don't even need an s dot now you could reference it straight as variance like that okay so you can do that um, so now the next thing that we can do of course though is from statistics import variance if you don't want to type variance you could say import variance as V right so now instead of variance we can just say X equals V example list run that and again that still works um, now the next thing that we want to do like let's say we want to import a, a few things from statistics so variance and we want mean <clears throat> so X equals variance example list y equals mean example list and then we'll have it print y and so here under this uh, we can see that we were able to use these commas right so when we go and run it we've we were successful in um, pulling out the two functions from this module and leaving the rest and then we're also referencing them as you know the function name because we can just import statistics and the new statistics dot and we, when we import statistics, we've imported everything anyways. So, uh, but we still, what if we don't want to type variance and mean? Well, we can do still like this, import variance as V, mean as M. So we can change this to V, change this to M, and everything works as we hope. So uh, we're able to do that. Now, the last thing I want to cover is what if, you know, we want to import everything from statistics, but we don't want to have to put statistics dot. Well, we can do something else. We can say from statistics, import asterisk. And what the asterisk means is everything. It's a form of regular expression that just means everything. Um, so basically, we're importing everything as if we had typed everything out. So now we can say uh, variance mean like this we never actually imported them but we um, we said import everything and then in this scenario we don't actually have to type statistics either so we can do this and that works as uh, as expected so that's it um, obviously we can't really necessarily get away with import everything as because everything can't have the same name 
but we can't import everything just in case you wanted to do that. So those are a few of the examples of how we can do uh, the import importing of, of modules and the functions within them, uh, depending on what exactly you're trying to do with that module. If you want everything in that module, or maybe you want one thing in that module, or maybe you want to import that module as if you had written that code you know, and the functions within your single script, but you want to um, have it in its own separate script, whatever. Um, you can do all that. So if you guys have any questions or comments, feel free to leave those below. As always, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support and subscriptions, and until next time.